Hello, and welcome to a very vengeful episode of Intravenous. In case you're not in the know, Intravenous is a top-down shooter that's being marketed as a love letter to Splinter Cell. This channel did a first look at the game a few months ago, and now it's time to test out the full version. Special thanks, by the way, to the developer and to Inky to fail for a key. Before we get started, you should know that this is a pre-release, so there may be a few bugs here and there that will be ironed out in between the time of recording and the time that you actually see this. Let's get started by taking Taking a look at the difficulty. This run is going to be done on true difficulty because it's closer to what the developer envisioned. I know that there's a masochist difficulty over here, but we should try to balance fun and difficulty, at least to start off. So let's get started with the game. Uh, we have a prologue in the city. What's the matter, Steve? You fall asleep or something? Yeah, Charles, the sound and smell of gunfire made me want to take a nap. Well, shit, man, don't fall over with that thing in your hands. I wouldn't want to get caught in a misfire by a lousy shot like you. Screw you, man. I bet I can hit all the targets faster than you. Oh, yeah? Wanna bet? You're on. I win, and tonight the drinks are on you, and I mean a good amount of drinks. Well, when I kick your ass, I'll have that bottle of whiskey you've got. Don't get too cocky. Hold your horses. You're all over the place today. Why don't you get some more practice first, huh? We're gonna have to do some target practice first. We have to do a reload. Let's see what else we can manage. Maybe go single shot. Oh, this is very simple. Let's go back to three round burst. Tapped out, grab a pistol, get used to it while you're at it. We'll take a P89. And it's time for some more target practice. Nope, oh, time to reload. <laughs> All right, then, let's have at it if you think you're that good of a shot. All right, looks like I'll be having that booze after all. Fuck, man, I didn't even have the time to taste it. I'm just messing with you. You'd think I'd rob my brother like that? Hey, the drinks are on me tonight. Aw, oh, Charles is so nice. It's a shame that he has two days left before retirement. Real generous, eh? Hey, you're the one who's paying for the shooting range. I'm not some tightwad. I can let loose some, too. What do you have? Bourbon will be fine. Bourbon and rum here, please. I'll be right back. Gotta take a leak. Okay, I guess we have to go to the bathroom. Say, Steve, you got a girl yet? Nah, free as I can get. Got some good news for you. There's this chick behind you, been eyeing you for quite a while now. Might want to go over to her and say hello or something. Shit, is she hot? Find out for yourself. Go on, get. Okay, we have to talk to the girl now. Hey, how are you tonight? Nothing? Man, that chick was all over you. How are we supposed to know that? <laughs> you think? 
Fuck, man, what kind of question is that? The way she was looking at you, playing with her hair, the laughter that could be heard a mile away. You got her number two, what do you think, dumbass? Well, shit, man, I'll have to give her a call sometime. You do that, man. Don't blow this chance. Can't believe I need to coach you on this. You think we should hail a cab or something? Why would we do that? I'm right here spending quality time with my little brother. I'm in no rush. I've got a light buzz going, and I'm enjoying myself. Solid prologue. And then the guy storms in and says, Richard, why are you lying to me? If you didn't get it done, just say so. Jeez, your boss sounds like an asshole. I know, right? The guy even said that his laptop crashed, so he lost all of his unsafe progress. Richard's not the type to lie about stuff either, but no! He's lying for sure. What a fucking dickhead. <laughs> hey man, you got any spare change for us fellas? No, I don't think I do. What about your boyfriend there? You feeling generous tonight? Fuck off. Get a fucking job. That's no way to speak to someone in need. Just give us your fucking money. Yeah, pretty boy, share some. You back up before I smash your face to fucking pulp. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? Just take their money and go. Charles. It was supposed to be a regular night out. Instead, I ended up at the hospital. My brother was in a coma. I gave an interview to the police and they said they turned the city upside down looking for those junkies. Charles passed away the next night. It's Steve's house. What do you mean there's nothing? It's been a fucking month. Fuck. It looks like it's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And we've got a little bit of bubblegum left. Guess I'll have to do this myself. This one's for you, big brother. Alright, looks like we'll have to pick up our P89. The one time I leave my piece at home, I get fucked up. Okay, we can gather some ammo. And leave the house. We're going back to the druggy ghetto. I'm no doubt going to be outnumbered, should resort to fighting as my last chance. Let's see if we can choke out this guy. Okay, looks like we'll have to carry this one. Bring him over here and we'll dump the body in the dumpster. Oops. We'll drop it in the dumpster. Alright, that makes more sense. Oh, there's another guy here. We'll have to go up and around. Well, he's facing the wall, so... Hmm. That's a nice gun, man. How much did you pay for it? Just $200. The guy sold it to me for a nice discount. You know how to use that thing? It's a fucking pistol. You just point and pull the trigger, man. Hey, don't point it at me. Yeah, why are they flagging each other? Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, there's somebody over here. Let's see if we can open this door and get the drop on this guy. Nice and slow. Here we are. Perfect. We'll carry him, shut the door, and try to ghost our way back over to the dumpster. Oh, we can only hide one person in the dumpster. We'll have to put this guy over here off in the corner. What about over here? Can we get this guy while he's sitting down?
We couldn't, but I guess that's to be expected. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain. It looks like we're gonna have to restart. Let's take this a little bit slower. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this guy again. Carry him. And put him in the dumpster. I guess we'll have to wait for them to split up. Ugh. Alright, let's go in here. Choke this guy out. Can we put him over here? No, that's not a good place to put him. They could easily search over there and find the body. We're able to have three saves per level. We'll save it here. Let's see how we can do this properly. No, we have to stay out of the light. It's a bit annoying because there's a light source over there, but we can manage. Oh. Well, that didn't help. Hmm. I guess we have to use the stealth mechanics a little bit more. Let's go up and around as expected. Oh, that's not good. Try again. We'll wait for him to turn around. Try to follow him if we can. There we are. That's better. And dump him with his friend. Okay, now we have to figure out where the others are. There's one sitting here in a chair. And there's one up here. I don't want to throw a soda bottle or anything like that, because that'll be just silly. Oop, let's hide here. Wait until the guy turns around. There we are. Once you know, you know. We'll put him down in this dumpster. There we are. That's another one. I wonder how we're supposed to get these guys out of their chairs. Hmm. They're all sitting in chairs watching whatever. Well, we could try to start with this one. Oh, a big building looks important. I guess it's better to just bypass all of these people. Yep, there's another guy here. Oh, that woke all of them up. Ugh. Good. It's kind of annoying that we can't reach over the back of the sofa and try to choke one of these people out, but I guess that adds to the challenge. Well, we'll go down and around this way. We'll have to see what we can do to knock him out. Oop. Nope. We're not doing that, I guess. Nope, we have to be as stealthy as possible. Okay, we can wait a bit. Alright, now we have to go. Finger on E. Oh! Down and around we have to go. Well, I guess nobody heard that. Hmm. Oh, we have to open up on the guys.
Well, that's another one. We have to keep eyes over here. Where did the guy go? They're staying in place because they're a little scared, and if you don't remember our first look, that's one of the limitations, but we'll take advantage of it. That's one down. We'll carry the guy over. Put him here. Oh. Uh, hmm. One of them must have revived the guy that we put over in this corner. Let's save again. We only have one left, but that should be okay. Oop. Yeah. It was a good idea to save right there. Let's see if we can do better. Okay. Hmm. What is happening here? <laughs> We can reload. We have to just keep an eye on the druggies in the buildings. That could be a huge problem. Climb over this wall. And we'll get over to the big building. We might have to go over and around. This seems like a good way in. Turning the light switch off is a good idea. We'll make sure to keep the door shut as we pass. We're gonna have to time that guy's patrol path. Maybe hide in the corner over here. Oh, there's a vent shaft here, okay. Where does this go? Oh, the exit is right over here. What are we supposed to investigate in this building anyway? There are now three druggies in the building. Hmm, maybe we have to head over here? Fuck, that cocksucker is not here. I need to leave this shithole. Let's see if we can't get out of here quietly. Nope, we're gonna have some problems. We need to get over here in the corner. Yep, they're gonna rush over to where the body is. That's fine, because we can go into the vent. Oh wait, there's a door over here. Okay. I suppose we have to wait. Yep, there's one druggy over here. Okay, now we can go. Yeah, we're going to have to exit the way we came in. But there are two henchmen over here. Mm. That did it, I suppose. We'll head over here and we'll get out. Or not. It looks like we have to start all the way back here. Well, we can head all the way up here and move around this way. We'll jump over the wall once again. Oh, we got spotted. Uh, we'll have to try again. Wait, what's over here? Oh. Mm. Uh, 
Eh. We'll take it a little slowly. Where's the light source here, by the way? I'm not sure. Well, that didn't help. Down and around, as always. We'll head over here, of course. Looks like we'll have to wait for that guy. Okay, at the very least, the big building is in sight, so that's helpful. We just have to wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, maybe we can go up and around? I'm not sure. We'll have to keep an eye on this window. We're gonna have to move this way, but we know how to do that. Hop out, just so they don't know where we are. Nope, get back in there. Right, there we are. What the hell? Oh. Let's do a reload. Yeah, this mission is not ghostable, but whatever. Let's get over to the office that's over here. Yep, you do. Well, since we killed all of the druggies, we should be able to make a safe exit, I think. But just in case, we'll use our last save here. That'll do. And we can't head over here. Yeah, did everybody converge on that building? Huh. Well, we can see by trying to get rid of this door handle. There we are. Hmm. Well, that should be helpful. And it looks like we made it out. And we'll cut it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Intravenous. You stay vengeful, and I'll see you next time.